Starfield was one of the games of all time. You know, I gave it a shot on release and I didn't end up finishing it. You know, it wasn't for me, but that, that's fine. But this video is not about why I didn't like it. I want to talk about the one thing that I actually kind of enjoyed about it, and that was shipboarding. I thought that it was cool that you could disable a ship's engines, dock to the ship, and then proceed to shoot first, ask questions later, as you take out the crew and strip them of their belongings, and then just leave. Star Citizen kind of has this, but what does it look like? And is, is it even a fun game loop? Well, let's find out. But to do this, I would need a very unique ship loadout. My goal with this build is to disable ships solo or with a small crew. And to disable ships, you need one simple thing. Distortion weapons. Now, there aren't many options in the game yet, which is why my Corsair has distortion scatter guns taped to the front of it. Yes, these are spaceship shotguns. And if you're confused, I mean, don't feel bad because, yeah, why, why is this a thing? Thankfully, on the wings, I have two repeaters with some range, but a lot less damage. That's really about all there is to it. You know, if you have any other wild ship ideas, let me know. But uh, the only thing left to do now is send out a message to my Discord server for help. And now we're off to board some ships. This operation started real small. I was piloting the Drake Corsair, and I had my wingman in an Ares Inferno to take care of the other escort ships while I focused on the main target. And in this case, I'm trying to disable an A2. One interesting fact about boarding AI-controlled ships is that if you take the ship that has the AI gunners, you can actually have the AI work for you. I mean, they might shoot your friends for a little bit, but hey, you know, a little friendly fire never hurts nobody. So if we're able to steal an A2 or even a hammerhead today, we will have so much extra firepower. Now, I totally misjudged how bad distortion weapons are. You know, I thought they disabled the ship almost instantly, but these are some chunky ships and they're just built different. So I had to shoot this A2 for about two minutes straight before I could get their engines to turn off. But once I got the ship powered down, I kept shooting at it to make sure that it would stay off. And as I waited for it to come to a complete stop, it came back alive. Once I thought that I had the ship slow enough I could hit cruise control on my Corsair and I went full send on capturing this A2. I just didn't expect my Corsair to go full WWE on me and send this A2 into a crazy spin which left me stranded. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely hitting something. Oh! I'm locked on. I'm... I'm... He... <laughs> oh no! As I watched my Corsair float away into the black, I didn't think things could get much worse than this, but this is Star Citizen and things can always get worse. My wingman picked me up in their Catalan. little cutter and the next mission was to recover the Corsair and maybe some gear that my wingman lost. Oh, he's chasing you? This is creepy. Yeah, he's taking shots at us, man. Oh yeah, our shields are gone. Oh, okay. I see it. I'm uh, I'm about to jump out. Oh yeah, she's too fast for my tractor beam. Dang it! That was good piloting though. Oh, they're still shooting at us, by the way. Yeah, I know. And we're heavily damaged. Where's your body? I don't see it. It's right behind us. Oh, I didn't see it. I was looking for it. Damn it. That's uh, all good. We took a little break from our main mission to gather our corpses and come up with a better plan. With just the two of us, this would be almost impossible. You really need a three-man crew to really pull this off. One person in a Corsair, or I guess any ship with distortions. Another person shooting down the escorts, and then maybe having another person just to jump into space and board the ship that you're targeting. You know, at this moment, we didn't have three people, 
So we chose to take our operation to the planet surface where we would just let gravity be our third man. The, the white suit corpse, but I don't see the good gear corpse. Uh, it's not the end of the world. I've got lots of sense of that. Okay. Oh, is it your Hurston armor? Yeah. No. No, I knew this fight was going to be interesting. The only thing that could absolutely ruin this plan is if that C2 that we're targeting now gets a little bit too high by the time that I disable it, because at that point it would just fall full speed into the ground, completely ruining any potential of stealing it and seeing the crew alive. God, that inferno looks so cool. I disabled the ship as it was flying towards the ground. Thankfully, it didn't blow up. Okay, I think he's... Can you open up the back door? Oh, man, he... The only thing left to do was get inside, and thankfully, my Inferno friend opened up the back door for me. This ship was full of so much cargo, but I was here for the kill. I wanted to feel sort of productive today by punching this pilot out of their seat. A very silly goal, but you know what? Any win is a big win in Star Citizen. Oh, it's working. I got hit markers. He's cussing at me. He's going down. Pilot is curb stomp. With our first successful boarding taken care of, we set our sights on some crazy goals. We knew that these ERT bounties could spawn 890 jumps, and we really wanted to see if we could do that, but we would also settle for a fully crewed AI hammerhead because, I mean, why not? We changed up the squad too. We got another fully ballistic Corsair, and as well as an Origin 315P. Now that little ship has a pilot controlled tractor beam, and the idea is that they will slow down the spinning ships. I mean, we know that there's a ship specifically for towing and stopping ships from doing what is causing all these issues, but, you know, nobody had it, and, you know, just a little ship will do for now. We got this hammerhead to come to a stop, kinda. So I went to the roof of my Corsair while I had somebody pilot the ship so I could get as close as possible, and then I would jump. Oh, it looks like they're trying to shoot at you. All right, I'm gonna jump out. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm... I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Once on board, the last thing to do was take care of the captain. What up, X? Dead. This is our ship now. With the hammerhead under our control, we breathed for a second, but we found out that the ship was hiding a little bit of a secret. Deep in the cargo hold was a few SEUs of weevil eggs, and I thought these crates went completely extinct with the last patch, oh my God. but actually, this hammerhead and the one next door both had eggs on board. That is an easy 1 million credits to split with the crew. Dude. Now, I just have to say that this is probably some of the most fun that I've had in this game in a long time. And I know that we're doing these bounties in the most time consuming way, probably the most confusing way, but it is so much fun to have an actual challenge in a game that you feel like you've already mastered. I needed to head back to into my Corsair, so I gave an org mate the hammerhead to play around with. You know, I just wanted my Corsair so that we could load up all the cargo and loot and also I'm going to show you something that you've probably never seen before. Is this the, a little ship ripping cargo out of another ship? You know, normally I see players with tractor beams doing this, but it just, just, it's just wild sight to see. So please ignore my color blindness. I thought this scrap was weevil eggs and, and 
and uh, yeah, thankfully I noticed it last second and threw it into the black. With some high value cargo on board, it was time to sell. We knew that Brios is a hot spot, but we had a hammerhead and a few extra fighter escorts by now. We thought that we could handle whatever happens, and we were going to need all the help we could get. Is that a eclipse? Who's in that eclipse? Eclipse where? Dark Dan's is in the eclipse right behind me. That's not us. That's not us. That's not yeah, us. Dark Dan's is a. Uh... No, this is bad. An eclipse could one shot any one of us. And we can tell that he's been killing people here all day. There's evidence of a ship that blew up here because there are scrap containers everywhere. And so while the Hammerhead and the F8C try to keep him occupied, I run in and sell the tar cargo for an easy 1.2 million credits. Things started to quickly get out of hand. First, a player shows up on a hover bike, and then I'm attacked by another player in orbit. Another player starts to attack me in their constellation, and I have no choice but to tank their damage, get close, and hope I can disable them before they can kill me. Oh, you went for the round. Oh. <laughs> Yo, get him while, get him while he's done. Yeah, get him. Even though I got lucky with that collision with the constellation, things were getting spicier and spicier. I needed to run and repair, and so I made it into the atmosphere and started looking for a mining outpost where I could repair. My, my everything hurts right now. Take it easy. Thanks for the help, man. It was fun. Oh, dude just rammed me. <laughs> what? Yep. That was the eclipse. Turning himself into a torpedo. Good fight, everybody. Good fight. I want to say thank you to everybody from my Discord that joined me on this adventure. It was a wild idea to try, but I had a blast working with you guys, and I know we'll do it again really soon. Special thank you to my channel members. I missed your name last week, I think, but thank you so much, Christine Davis, for rejoining the crew. I'm so happy to have you here. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. If you want to help me get this video out to more wonderful people like yourselves, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, commenting. It can literally be just say your favorite ship or even just an emoji. Anything helps me out a lot. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.